Hi, and welcome to Employee Payroll Management System developed using MySQL database in Visual Basic.net. This is just an overview, and I'm just going to explain how the whole process works. Here we have about nine buttons. We can print. Let's start with that. Click on print, and there we get the print dialog box appears printing the data that we have in there and there we go the choice is yours if you want to print or not just hit the print button if you want to see the data in there and see the similarity there we go there the same employee id number exit out we can update all the necessary information we have in here Let's take a good example. Look at the date. The date is 21st. And we, if we come down here, let's see the date. The date of Casey Jonathan, that's 21st. Okay. Let's take care of that. So I'm going to change that to today's date. I think today is 27th of June. So we have just changed that. So I'm going to go to update there we go update is in progress click on ok and there we go you see the details of casey is now 27 so the update is working and we can also print the pay slip okay let's assume we want to print someone else's pay slip Mary Holloway. Okay, let's go in there. Mary Holloway. Print the pay slip for Mary Holloway. That is it right there. So you can print that out. Or the choice is yours. If you want, you can always save. Let's say we want to save Mary Holloway's details. So let's just enter Mary right there. Mary's pay slip. And let's save it straight onto my desktop. There we go. We've just saved Mary's details straight onto my desktop. And I'm going to go straight to my desktop and open up Mary's details now. So let's go straight to my desktop. Click on that and look for Mary. There we go. Double click on that. And let's wait for that to open up. And let's click on the Word document to see Mary always detail. There we go. Just click on OK and that is now coming up there we go guys that's mary always details that is saved in word document right there so let's exit out there back in here the other thing we can do is we can delete any record if we want supposing we want to delete let's go for victor mansfield so i'm still gonna leave that in here so you just hit on delete there we go, Victor Mansfield details is gone. So if we refresh or reload, and there we go, and there we go, every single information of Victor Mansfield is gone. Okay, the other thing we can do is we can insert, let's select, let's make life easy for me. I'm just going to change all of this information. Let's change this to about, yep. Yeah. So changing the reference and the name I'm going to make call the name. Let's say the name is Helen. Helen Oshodi. Right. And let's come down here. Let's just make up an address number 15. The street Oshodi. It's a Lagos there we go so that is the address of helen and let's change the phone number and helen that's female basic pay or oh, that's uh, the waiting allowance and the basic pay we change that as well right change the overtime to about that and this we just leave that as maybe 27 okay if you add up all that we have in here the wages we have in here doesn't run with this because this is a new system entirely and this has already been changed i'm going to change the date 
and all we then need to do is click on total but before we click on total let me come right down here have a good look at that there's nothing no information about Helen who showed it there so I'm going to click on total there we go let's come right down and see Ellen there we go that's Ellen's details right there look at that and we can print that out if we want okay that's Ellen's details now let's search supposing we want to search for Paul Omen let's click on search there we go so this system will work very well for any anything you want to use it for so I'm going to come down here and just click on refresh there so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you guys straight into visual basic development environment and we'll put one of these together like I said but this is just an overview I'll see you guys shortly bye for now